Hi, this is my reflection for my ePortfolio um, based on my placement uh, between January and March the 3rd. So today's reflection uh, is going to be based mainly on a particular event in uh, a lesson I carried out today. That was uh, in a particularly challenging class uh, with a, uh, a football academy group uh, which consists of all 28 boys uh, who play football four days a week and train four days a week and one day a week they come into Strode's College and get taught a BTEC equivalent course uh, and their behaviour is pretty poor on the whole um, and other teachers find them particularly challenging but my role in the class is uh, to assist on their work computers to make sure that grammar and is correct that they're producing work that um, meets the demands of the assessment criteria uh, and also a personal uh, aim of mine is to prompt them to develop their own skills rather than just ticking boxes uh, as is often the case in these sort of BTEC courses. Uh, so in this particular class I was assisting uh, kids in the class going from computer to computer working one-on-one -on -one with uh, some of the pupils I came to a particularly challenging uh, individual in the class who likes to be the centre of attention attention um, asked him how he's getting on gave me a bit of a silly remark back uh, so I brushed it to one side it seemed he was it was harmless just trying to have a bit of fun uh, and so I brushed it to one side, ignored it and just asked him how he was doing with his work. He then proceeded to keep making fun uh, of me and then prompted a boy who was sitting to the right of me, so behind me as I was speaking to the boy, um, to start pulling faces at me and making noises while I wasn't looking and then as I turned to him he'd stop thinking that he was very funny getting away with it. Uh, and my initial reaction to this and made me feel very angry to be honest, I felt like I've given these boys a lot of respect throughout the placement, throughout the time I've been there I've got to know them every week, uh, they see me almost as much as the teachers that they see at Strode's one day a week um, and they've given me very little respect, um, even less respect than they usually give the, the class teacher. So I felt very insecure initially, felt embarrassed, I could feel myself going a bit red. Um, but I put my emotions to one side, I mean if, if I acted on my emotions I probably would have lost my temper, raised my voice, uh, probably alienated some of them or even given them the attention that they were looking for as they were just making so many disruptions. Instead, I decided to reason with them, or show them respect, so I said to them, look, I don't have to be here, uh, I'm trying to help you, I'm a volunteer here, I don't have to come into this class at all, um, but I'm coming here to try and help you, why, why can't you give me a bit of respect, like the respect I'm giving you? And with that, I left them, carried on helping other people in the class, and the reason why I gave them such a calm response and left them rather than dealing with them there and then uh, which uh, was because that I felt like they wanted the attention I felt like they that's what they were driving for that's why they were being disruptive um, and if you in my experience if you if you're in a situation where the teacher gives you even less respect than you're giving them or very little respect then you're not going to develop a very good working attitude or a good uh, learning environment. So I tried to defuse the situation by going to help other people and they calmed down uh, without me sort of talking to them. I went to help other people to show them that, or to do my job, but to also show them that I wasn't affected by their behaviour and that I was willing to help other people as much as I was willing to help them and they weren't going to get any special treatment. I then proceeded to come back to them and carried on as if nothing had happened. 
um, not trying to make a big deal of the situation and they both addressed me with respect uh, very sheepishly talked to me allowed me to help them produce the good work and well, improve their work and then we moved on so from that experience I was very happy with the way I managed to detach my emotions from the situation um, and apply the behaviour that I thought was necessary as opposed to the behaviour that I wanted to react to. So I believe that it's a very important to be able to, to do that, to be able to apply the behaviour that you think is appropriate for the results that you want as opposed to what's going to make you feel better necessarily. Um, I feel this is definitely a strength that comes from um, my ability to comes from my experience working with uh, youth work, uh, working with kids that you want to try and get alongside, you want to have, develop a rapport with, uh, but they don't always make it easy for you. Um, and, right, and a lot of the kids I've worked with over the years have had their behaviour problems, um, anger management issues, uh, as, as well as other ones to name a few. Um, and you have to deal with them in a very completely different way to how you'd naturally act with someone like yourself. Um, and I definitely feel that getting experience of uh, different sort of learning abilities, different uh, environments where you you're, you have to develop a rapport with people in different ways. So, for example, in youth club setting, you can develop a rapport with students or with uh, the the youth uh, who are present in a lot more friendly way than you would do in a school or a coaching setting and likewise in my coaching experience I have to develop a working rapport with students uh, where I have to have less concern for whether they like me necessarily um, or whether we have a friendlier appro approach where their safety is more of a concern um, and their getting results from them in terms of performance and their learning is more important than what they think of me necessarily. And so gaining combination from that, as well as my own experiences throughout education, as I mentioned before, uh, well, I felt like I've been given less respect from a teacher. I've often reacted very differently to them and very negatively and shut myself out. So reflecting on all those experiences, I found that I have developed a way to look objectively at situations and then apply the correct behaviour response um, regardless of uh, what my own emotions are, I can put that to one side and I think that's been a great asset. Um, what I still need to aim to learn and develop is to be able to prevent that sort of situation from occurring in the first place. As much as I know my um, my position at the school being having less authority than a class teacher may have caused these people to think that they could give me less respect than a class teacher. When I step into the world of work myself, when I step into my teaching role, I would like to think that I can have a learning environment and uh, manage behaviour in a way that prevents that sort of thing from occurring in the first place. I feel like I could have done this by maybe developing a less friendly approach well maybe not less friendly maybe developing a more professional approach to the kids so that they're aware that I have authority and as much as I'm friendly and I'm reasonable that I won't tolerate poor behaviour um, this could also be diffused by uh, the way I approach the kids in the first place. Usually everything, everything's been fine in the past and they've had to deal with uh, anything as confrontational as this before or disrespectful as this before. But in the future, as I mentioned, uh, there's a silly comment made at the beginning which I chose to ignore and carry on with. Now if I'd addressed that initially, it may have prevented the situation from escalating. Uh, so the next time this situation, this similar situation, I find myself in a similar situation, I might choose to diffuse the silly attitudes or the potentially insulting remarks early on. 
to stop this from happening again. Um, I feel that as well within within such a learning environment, how you react to one pupil uh, is reflected on. Uh, I mean, how you react to one pupil indicates how you react to all pupils um, because they expect consistency from you. So I think it's very important to establish yourself quite early on in a learning environment, uh, in a teaching environment particularly, where your authority will be examined and challenged by the pupils that you're in charge of.